Good morning, boys and girls. How are you all? Today we will take our grammar lesson. It talks about pronoun I and me. I and me. We took before subject pronouns I, he, she, it, you, we, they. Now we will take object pronoun, the first one, me. So I, subject pronoun, and me, object pronoun. Okay, so again, pronoun, I and me. Now let's start with our lesson. Here points to remember, we need to refresh our memory. What is the pronoun? Or what is a pronoun? A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun or nouns. So again, I said before, we come with a name and I will delete this name and replace it with a pronoun. Like Sarah, Sarah, I will delete this name and I will put she. Or uh, my family, I will put it here, then I will delete it and I will put we. Here, what is the noun? The noun is the name of a person, place, animal, or thing. Okay? Okay. Remember, we have three kinds of pronouns. We took before subject pronouns. Now we will take object pronouns and here possessive pronouns. So three kinds of pronouns. Subject, object, possessive. Pronoun I and me. So here we have to know how to use I and how to use me. And when can I choose I and when I can choose me. Here are some examples. I love you. You love me. Me. So here I and here me. I is a subjective pronoun. Means I am talking about myself. Me is an objective pronoun. I is the subject of the sentence. Me is the object of the sentence. Subject means he is the first person. Here is the object. He comes after the verb. Okay. You will find this in your book. The pronoun I and me take the place of your name. So again. When I talk about I, I delete my own name, replace it with I, and also me. So there is a name, I took it, and I replace it with a pronoun. Use I in a subject of a sentence, subject. Subject means the first one in the sentence, the subject one, who do this something. Uh, and use me after an action verb. So, how to differentiate between I and me? How to know the difference? So, I comes at the beginning of the sentence, but me comes after the verb. So, me comes after the verb. Always write I with an uppercase letter. So, I all the time write it with the capital letter like this. Okay, I invent things. My friend Kim helps me. So I come here, the first one, but me comes after helps, which is the verb. When you talk about yourself and another person, name yourself last. Okay, so when I talk about Omar and me, I said Omar and me, or Omar and I, not I and Omar. So, when you talk about someone else and you, don't start with yourself. Start with the someone, like Ahmed. So, I said Ahmed and I. Start with the, another person and then yourself. The pronoun I and me take the place of your name, of who? Your name. Kim and I. So, he start with Kim, then he, he put I. You cannot say I and Kim. It's wrong. So you have to start with the other name and then yourself. Kim and I try my new toy. Josh helps Kim 
and me. So after helps come me. Okay. So I will repeat this again. I comes at the beginning. Okay. But after the verb, you have to write me. So here, write I or me to complete the sentences. I needed to be smart. Now, I said before, I come at the beginning of the sentence. But me comes after the verb. Comes after the verb. Number one here. Give that back to. Give that back to. So after give, this is a verb. After the verb, who comes? Which pronoun? I or me? Me. Excellent. So give that back to me. So give, it's a verb. So I have to put what after the verb? Me. The object pronoun. Here, a plank. Don't like going out in cold weather. Don't like to go out or going out in cold weather. Who? Me or I? I. I don't like going out in cold weather. Okay. Don't wait for? Wait. Wait. Okay, it's a verb. So, don't wait. Okay. For? For who? For I or for me? For me. Excellent. So, don't wait for me. Now hear this sentence. Listen carefully. Reem and are going to swim in the pool. So Reem and who? I or me? I said it before. When you come with the other person name, you have to write here yourself. So Reem and I. Reem and I. Remember, I put I not only here at the beginning of the sentence, but if we said other other person name, I have to put here I. Need to buy some food. So who? At the beginning of the sentence. So I have to put I need to buy some food. Exactly. Circle the pronoun. I or me in the sentence. So I went to the store with my mom. I went to the store with my mom. Where is the pronoun here? I. Excellent. I. Number two. She smiled at me. She smiled at me. Now listen carefully. I said before. Circle the pronoun I or me only. Not the subject pronoun. So here she smiled at me. Me. Excellent. Number three. Mom helped me. Mom helped me. Where is the pronoun? Me also. Now here number four. I ate it in three bites. I ate it in three bites. Excellent. I. The last one, I have many toys. I have many toys. Excellent. So, I. I. Now, remember, I come here, the subject pronoun. So, in the subject place, we put I. But me comes after the verb. Me comes after the verb. And remember, we can put also I like here. Reem and I. When you start with other person name and you will put I. You will put I. Okay. So here we finish this one. You have to remember that we took the subject pronoun last week. Which are I, he, she, it, you, we, they. But today we took only pronoun I and me. Me. The first object pronoun. So I and me 
talks about yourself. When you want to talk about yourself, you have to choose whether I or me. I, we put it in the first of the sentence. The first place in the sentence. But me, we put it after the verb. Excellent. So, me, we put it after the verb. But I, we put it at the beginning of the sentence. And if you start with other person name, you have to put your I. Like Kim and I. So, Kim is other one name, not yours. And then you. So, Kim and I. I don't put here me. Kim and I. Thank you. I hope you understand this lesson. It's so easy. We took a uh, subject pronoun before and now it's only me that you have to memorize it. Okay, so thank you. I hope you understand. Goodbye.